the unknown force behind the cosmos. The potential for man's power is limitless if he knows how to use it. Unconquerable spirit power is not the same as life, will, or the mind. With a spiritual component, it goes beyond merely mental and physical. Until man reaches a certain level of development, he is unable to access this power. Although the power of thought is great on a spiritual level, this is not it. It is true thought that man can reach greater heights and make contact with the powerhouse of the universe or completely stop the flow of the divine. His mind is his greatest weapon because it has access to infinite possibilities but also it can cut off his or her divine connection to God through his true self, his divine spark. Man can communicate with the infinite. He has divine life and power if he realizes it. He is powerless if he does not recognize his unity with the divine. Contrarily, tapping into this inner knowing. His influence and means are limitless. Therefore, God's power is also available to men, but only when he is prepared to receive it. When man realizes his unity with his divine source, he becomes truly powerful. Many teachers are disturbed by the disclosure of sensitive information. They fear that the unenlightened will abuse their spiritual authority. The author is skeptical of this. Those with strong personalities and confidence in their own abilities often rely subconsciously on unseen strengths to help them achieve success. They have spiritual power, but they don't use it for evil very often. Others will inevitably misuse their authority. The black musicians, even if they succeed in wrecking havoc, they will be left broke and helpless. Others devote all of their spare time to learning more about this subject. They have searched every obscure book for it without success. Spirits can deceive explorers until it's time for the reveal. Man is prepared for his oneness with the infinite when he abandons all vain pursuits in his quest for truth and no longer comes into conflict with the infinite. Some may view subconsciously obeying the will of the whole as weak, but it's the key to a life of almost infinite potential. A human being is not separate from God. He is infinite. His mind becomes disjoint due to his blindness and lack of fate. Spirit and man are one. He keeps going because God is with him. He possesses the God's spirit. The vast majority of humanity is completely unaware of this direct contact with the divine. They are cut off from God because they either don't understand or don't believe. Facts don't differentiate them, but thoughts and opinions do. Men are never truly alone, but helpless and powerless as long as man believes it. Man transitions from being powerless to being infinite when he realizes his oneness with the infinite. One moment he is in the desert, weak, isolated and far away, the next he realizes he is God's son and is entitled to all son rights. He realizes right away that he is inseparable from his divine source. He also realizes that all the power of the universe is his to use. This demonstrates man's inherent intelligence. Thought is not spirit's strength, but it does unite man with limitless potential. Letting the divine infusion in or stopping it breaks off communication with God. Therefore, man is his own perception. A person who rejects God and his power is as helpless and miserable as if he does not exist at all. But if he truly believes that he is one with the infinite, then that is the ultimate truth and he was born as the son of God. A man's life is restricted if he considers himself merely a physical being and can't seem to get past it. But if he takes himself spiritually seriously, he finds out he has spiritual gifts. If he thinks his job is too difficult or that he isn't up to the task, he will view it as such. 
But if he believes the task is simple or within his capabilities, he will discover that his assumption was correct and will have no trouble completing the task. By having faith, a person is instantly coupled up with the spiritual power of the universe, thereby gaining unlimited strength. Because of his divine spark, he can commune with the sacred flame and become a god. Man must undergo a divine transformation before he can inherit the divine. He needs to adopt a spiritual way of thinking. Like the prodigal son, he must come to himself, abandoning the husks and swine in the distant land. He is home where the bread always is with his father. I mean, seriously, your life. Intimacy with God confers unbounded strength and vitality.